crafty friends it's Tina from the scrap and rabbit blog and I'm here today with a planner video for you now last year I started out working on a planner <clears throat> but then it got to be too much work <laughs> and so I kind of gave it up <clears throat> this year I found a planner and I wanted to give it a go again only this time I'm not going to be crazy and try to do all kinds of extravagant things and lots of stamping and coloring and things because I just don't know that that's practical for me. But what I'm going to try to do differently is I'm going to try to do all of my planners uh, spreads monthly so that that way I can just use my planner during the month like a regular planner if I can decorate it in advance. And so today I'm going to be showing you how I decorated for the entire month of January. <clears throat> so the first thing is, is I got this beautiful planner from Michael's and it is so so pretty and I just fell in love with it when I saw it for one look at all the beautiful purple and I loved the metallic rings that it has and this is a my happy it's a it's a happy planner from Michaels but the thing that I didn't know about this planner when I bought it was that it is a horizontal planner I thought that it was going to be like my last happy planner let's see I have a little insert here to where the boxes went this way for the weekly spreads and so I was anticipating decorating my planner like this because <laughs> I've been looking at pictures and trying to figure out well how do I want to do it how do I want to simplify it but then when I opened it up because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention when I bought it obviously the layout is like this and so I did buy some stickers that go with the planner like this. <clears throat> so I had to do some improvising, but that's okay because I really do like this planner. For one, the message, start each day with a grateful heart. That is something that I do, but it's something that I really wanna focus on even more than how I generally do. I just really wanna make sure that I'm thankful and thinking about everything that I'm blessed with because Last year, I kind of, you know, you can get caught up into some negativity sometimes and be thinking about things that, you know, bring you down. And then it does bring you down. So if you just start each day with a grateful heart, then everything is just going to be more positive and happy. And that's kind of my motto for this year was what this planner says. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. So my first page here. I just wrote my name and I little doodled a little flower on there. It says, hello, daydreamer. And then you have your months in advance for 2018 and 2019 for quick reference. Start each day with a grateful heart. And so here is my monthly spread. So for this, I decided that I was going to go with a Pusheen theme for my month of January. So... <clears throat> Googling, I found all kinds of free prints and stickers. So I didn't, everything that I used is from my stash and stuff that I printed and I made my own stickers. So these little hearts here are a sticker that I printed and that is from a website. Let me grab the sheet. This is what the sheet looks like and it is Jessica Brown from myplannerenvy.com. So if you go to her site, she offers a lot of free printables. And the neat thing about this was I was able to print this and cut them out with my scan and cut. So you could cut the stickers really nicely. From my experience cutting some of these planner stickers, it doesn't, the scan and cut doesn't always uh, work well because of all the different shading. But because you have a definitive outline with these, it seemed to work just fine so I was very happy that I was able to use this because I do love the stitching on here I'm not sure if you can see that it's really really pretty so I chose this pink that coordinated with my planner and the stickers that I had <clears throat> and then I did my little date covers there and these stickers here these little pusheen ones that kind of look purple are from victoriathatcher.com and she has a lot of really wonderful things on her site. She has done some amazing stuff, planner stuff. 
So I printed these out and my Scan and Cut cut it beautifully. And they printed out more on the purple side, which I thought, okay, well, it coordinates with the purple on my planner, so that's fine. But typically, uh, you get more of like a gray color. For some reason, these printed out purple for me. And I think I printed them through Word, so maybe it was how my Word program transposed the colors. <clears throat> So these little gray kitties here, these I got from, let's see, I got it from a site called organizedpotato.wordpress.com. And uh, these are the remnants of it, but there was a whole page with all kinds of really cute cutouts. And I got the, these little kitties there. This Start Each Day with a Grateful Heart came from my um, Mambi sticker pack that I bought to go with a traditional Happy Planner that was in there. And so I also have been using this sticker book here that I got from Target. And this was $3. And I found this one over the summer. So I've had this one for a while. But it had some pinks in there, so I used some stickers from this book as well. This is how I put this page together and of course everything that I'm showing you is pre-pen and so that is how my monthly spread looks. For the washi tape I have so much washi in my stash and this last year I bought this adorable little bag from eBay because I wanted a little tote to put pens and stickers and washi and stuff in there so if I wanted to work on my planner outside of home I would have a little bag that could carry all that fun stuff for me. So far, all I have in here is a bunch of washi. So I went through my washi tape and I found all the coordinating colors that I wanted to use with my stickers and I pulled them out and I put them in here so they wouldn't be rolling around all over my desk. So I have that and then when I go to uh, draw and write in my planner, I can replace those and put pens in them. So that is what I am using for this. So for my first week, this, I didn't do anything. So this is actually today. And so I decorated a little bit. I only will have a couple days to fill in because um, I did go walking. I'm trying to do steps, you guys. It's really, really hard to do the recommended 10,000 steps per day. But I found these stickers and I love kawaii art and this is from lovely planner uh the lovely planner blog she's that on instagram and then her shop is lovelyplannerco.etsy.com or lovelyplanner.com this is where i got it from <clears throat> and i printed these out and i could not get them to cut right with my scan and cut because there's too many contrasts and too many variations in the color. It just, it would cut some out and then it wouldn't others. So I just canceled that, but I was able to cut the little shoes. So if I just selected for the bottom, these were definitive enough. So I was able to cut these out just fine. But I figured these are rectangular, so I can just snip these and use them with my scissors. And so that's what I did. I'm gonna try to keep track of my steps. I again used some more washi and some more stickers from those printouts that I did. And so that's what I did for this first week. Going into the next week, I again decorated with all these really cute Pusheen stickers. I did get a few of them from, let's see, here is the planner lovers cl and she's a wordpress.com and so this is the leftovers that i ended up not using but i used a lot it was a two-page pusheen thing that she had and so i cut up a great bunch of it to use for my spreads but so those are the the sources for the stickers that i got for free that i was able to print out and to use and so i know that i have a lunch date with my friend Siv on this day. I have, this is a big week for doctor's appointments because there's three of them between me and the kids. And then I have a lunch date with Hubby. So I was able to use those stickers because I knew in advance and the rest will be filled in as I go along. And these stickers don't fit perfectly with these lines because it wasn't made for this size planner. And 
I'm going to be looking in to seeing if there is there are stickers that go with this um, Happy Planner horizontal spread because I would like to use some stickers that actually fit right. But I think I did a pretty good job for not having anything that was customized for this planner. And so for my next page, I did this one using some of this really cute kitty washi. Um, see if you can see that without the glare. Anytime that you have foil, of course, you're going to get a glare. Isn't that cute? So I love that this planner has a lot of rose gold accents, and so I can use some of my rose gold washi tape and to use to decorate. And here are some more of the cutouts that I hand cut because I, Scan and Cut's not registering all of the different variations here. And then some of the stickers from the Victoria uh, Thatcher, is that what she is? She is victoriathatcher.com. These, the ones that are, look purple are from hers, her site. And for my last page right here, I did again some variations in washi. This time I used some glittery washi with the hearts and then some of these paw prints. This was actually one of the printables and I cut it out and used it like washi tape. And so there you have it. So my monthly for January is all kitty cat pusheen themed and I'm very happy with how this turned out and I didn't spend too much time on it. I stuck some stickers down which is a great love of mine since I was a little kid. I collected stickers and loved to play with them and so this is my way of staying organized, having my planner ready to go. All I gotta do is fill things out. I don't have to be stressed out about how decorative it is. It's functional. I put it together easily. It didn't cost me a dime. And now I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna try to do this every month in advance. And I'm already thinking maybe for February, I'm going to do the year of the dog. So maybe I will find some dog printables. And I am still contemplating purchasing some stickers. There's a ton of planner stickers available. I don't know that there's any for this particular planner. So I'm gonna just go with this. And if I do find that I'm struggling, I might just purchase inserts for the standard Happy Planner, but I really just I love the way this looks and I love the colors and it's got a lot of really positive things. You will rise by lifting others. I just love the quotes and so next time I make it to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's I'm going to check out their stickers as well as go through my stash to figure out what I have that I can use so that when I sit down to do my monthly I'll do it in a theme and get it all done in advance so during the month I can use my planner without having to stress about if I had it decorated enough. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you haven't been using a planner because of the reasons why I stopped using mine, maybe this will give you a little inspiration to just get out your cute stickers or print some Thing, print some uh, cute images out and cut them and glue them. That'll work just as well. Get it together. Do it in advance so that you can enjoy your planner and have it be cute and have it be fun without the stress of having to work on it so much. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.